Greeting, Stripe of Love. This is some wisdom on meditation. Every day I come down here pretty well to this uh, incredible bay. Uh, usually there's nobody else here. Might be some deer, the odd bear or whatever, but it's uh, a beautiful place for me to meditate. And then when it snows, I uh, bring up garbage bag with me and sit on that. If it's raining, I go under one of the trees. And in doing that, I've noticed through the years this beautiful flow of nature. And, uh, even the early now, we're just past summer solstice, so the days are gradually getting shorter. The leaves will be turning in a bit, etc., etc. And these beautiful flows of nature become uh, a part of you when you spend a lot of time in nature and it's and to me it's a, a really beautiful part of meditation is trying to be in nature as much as possible as much as you can for your meditations part of a meditation uh, journey is one of them is is getting to know what's inside your own head it's so bizarre that we live within our bodies but to really understand like the difference between soul, spirit, emotions, thoughts, where they come from. Yeah, it's like this big mystery. One thing I've noticed uh, in meditations for me is I can go into extended periods of time now where no thoughts are bubbling up. So if it was like this water here, it'd be like if it was a perfectly still lake. There's still an awareness and it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful place of consciousness to be in that place. And it's not like there's a fear of, of not uh, having a thought pop up again. It's just a, a place of, uh, it's almost like a lucid dream of just being. Of, and that's a, a consciousness. So from that, I've learned that part of my being is just consciousness, pure consciousness and there's no feeling, no emotion, no thought from that. And every so often uh, from that deeper state of consciousness what happens is a thought or an observation will arise like a mosquito might land on my knee and oh there's a mosquito you know or, or something or I might hear a voice or uh, something in a tree and you know all of a sudden is that a cougar pops up in my mind or something and then from what I've learned from that is that within this stillness of consciousness there's like a guard an observer that's observing all the energy all of the things going around me and now what that observer uses is the five senses and perhaps a sixth sense, intuition, etc. at times also. But so within your being, it's like right away there's the pure consciousness and then there's the observer. Uh, now which one is you? They both are. And I have a strong suspicion that they're both, it's kind of like what is more of the tree, the root or the trunk? Well, they're, they're both trees. And in that same sense, there's another aspect of us uh, that is what can be drawn out of this consciousness and this observation. They're not just neutral within themselves. Uh, all the feelings and emotions, uh, particularly from past experiences that we attach to these things, they accompany this, these observations. So if I do look up, and I look up at the sky, and there's, it uh, looks like a, a pig sleeping upside down, you know, it's kind of that far, I go, oh, look at the pig sleeping upside down, or whatever, I'm forever putting things into some sort of box or, or a context. Now, in being an awakened being of love, and in this awakening, process, a big part of it 
It's simply understanding that through these observations and through this consciousness, uh, right now the sun is shining. And so it's emanating through these waves and uh, through and upon the trees and feeling warm. It's beautiful warm breeze is with me right now. And in that same sense, love is what, if we allow it, it's always there, just like the sun is always shining. Uh, but it permeates. We can allow it and we can observe and we can absorb it. And we can allow love to be our experience, to, to allow it to be one with that consciousness. In the very same sense that right now, this, these, uh, I don't know if you can see, it's like diamonds on the lake here, of uh, the sunshine. That's one with it now. It's, it's, it is it. It's, and it's, you know, it's light. Uh, it's how do you separate that from the water itself? Uh, it's one with it. And the light is always there. And so the observer part of us can allow, make note and observe the love that is permeating through us and is us and is all there is in every moment. And this is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truth is that we are that love, that consciousness, that observation is love. So a deeper aspect of meditation for me is, is first I allow my mind just to be emptied of all the, the monkey mind noise of the day. And then once that happens, I bring myself back into the awareness of the sound of these waves is actually love processing through the observer part of me that hears sound. I'm feeling this gorgeous wind, just a gentle breeze cooling me. And it's absolutely love. It's love processing through that, those sensations I have of body. I'm seeing these waves, these trees, these diamonds on the lake. This beautiful shoreline, the, the trees gently dancing in the breeze here. I'm smelling this incredible pure smell. It's hard to describe when the air is so ionized that it's absolutely amazing. It's all love. And so in your meditations, perhaps this will bring you a beautiful truth. Namaste.